Hey, the, uh, Bridget Bardot, everybody, a sex symbol of the 50s and 60s, and then uh, turned animal a activist. She is 85 years old today. Actor Joel Higgins, remember him on Silver Spoons, he's 76. Actress, uh, comedian Janine Garofalo, uh, she's 55. I never thought she was that funny. Actress uh, Mira Sorvino is uh, 52 years old today. Moon Unit Zappa, that's Frank Zappa's little girl. She's uh, 52. Remember uh, the, the Valley Girl? Uh, actress uh, Naomi Watts is 51. Country singer Karen Fairchild, she is the uh, singer with the little, little Big Town, one of them. She's 50 years old today and the baby today. The baby big shot, actress Hilary Duff, 32 years old today. Caltrans has closed State Route 111 north of Nyland at Davis and Gillespie Roads until Friday night, October 11th, due to a moving mud pile. Motorists will be detoured an hour or more along the west side of the Salton Sea on State Route 86. For more information, call Caltrans at 619-688-6670, 619-688-6670. Happy birthdays this morning going out to Brian King, Jesse Moreno, Carissa Sanchez, Corina Matus, Stevie Thomas, uh, Dixie Krim, Liza Gaxiola Davis, Stephanie Thomas, uh, da Dana La Madrid, Carmen Chavarria, Hector Martinez, uh, Vanessa Dorame, Kiernan uh, Montgomery, uh, Caleb Rubio, Luis Villarreal, Melissa Reyes, Eric Lugo, Gabriel Isaac Torres, Giovanni Thomas, Hector Sanudo Jr., Leland Ingram, Maria Conley, Teresa Sanchez, and Josiah Barreras. Happy birthday to every single one. And the KXO Coldstone Creamery birthday cake winners were announced yesterday morning. On the AM side, Curtis Butler Jr. was the winner. On the FM side, Victoria Dorame. A uh, happy birthday and congratulations, Curtis and Victoria. You are the KXO Cold Stone Creamery birthday cake winners for this week. Enter to win a Cold Stone Creamery ice cream birthday cake. I love cake. Yeah! Oh, yes. Every week, we'll give away a delicious Cold Stone Creamery ice cream birthday cake, and you could win. I think it's time to celebrate! Celebrate! Do you have a birthday? Mm -hmm. Roger that. Yes. Then call, email, or regular mail us the date. Include your name, address, and phone number. Every Friday morning, we'll pick a winner for that week. Send us the birthdays of your family, your co-workers, and your friends. We'll put the information in our database, then send them birthday greetings on their special day. And every week, we pick a winner for the Cold Stone Creamery Ice Cream Birthday Cake. Where no matter how you slice it, it's a piece of cake. Let's see who will have their cake and eat it, too. Don't wait. Enter now and get ready to win. Oh, my God, really? That is too cool. On AM 1230. And it's time for the World in California News Headlines, brought to you by Lock Air Conditioning, your year-round comfort specialist. For sales and service, call the experts at Lock Air Conditioning. CBS News update. Testimony has resumed this morning in the case of a Dallas police officer who shot and killed an unarmed man in his apartment after she mistook his home for her own. Amber Geiger took the stand yesterday in her own defense. I shot an innocent man. He didn't deserve that I didn't, I was in my apartment. When you fired that shot, what did you, where did you think you were? inside my apartment. 26-year-old Botham Zahn was killed last September. CBS's Omar Villafranca is covering the trial. The prosecution during cross-examination did talk to her and asked her, when you pulled your gun out, you are trained as a police officer to shoot at center mass. Were you trying to kill him? Yes, my training is that when you shoot, you shoot basically to kill. So she admitted to that. Geiger told jurors she has to live with her guilt every day. She's charged with murder. CBS News Update, I'm Wendy Gillette. Whatever the weather brings this summer, you can rely on a York Affinity Premium Comfort System to keep your home cool and comfortable. Our new Affinity systems are smarter, more connected, and more efficient than ever before and cut your energy costs by as much as 50%. Call Lock Air Conditioning, your local York dealer, at 760-353-4501. That's 353-4501 to schedule a free evaluation of your system and learn how you can move up to a new level of comfort and efficiency this season. Call now and ask Ask about our 10-year extended labor warranty. Contractors license 696216. 
California headline news. A two-week probe into a boat fire that killed 34 people off the Southern California coast September 2nd has been completed. An investigator said they could not find a cause for the fire. More probing will be conducted. Senator Dianne Feinstein is worried California is being targeted by the federal government for political reasons. She wants an investigation of the EPA's threat to pull highway funding over the state's bad air. The EPA cites a backlog of plans to clean up the pollution and says the air quality doesn't meet federal standards. Feinstein wants to know if politics are playing a role or if the EPA really wants to help. The state is already suing for the right to set its own pollution standards. The EPA plans to take action next month if California doesn't come up with a way to clean the air. Brian Shook, NBC News Radio. A 91-year-old man was hit in the head with a rock and robbed while he was visiting his wife's grave in Santa Clara earlier this month. Mike Salceda, California Headline News. And the World California News Headlines brought to you this morning by Lock Air Conditioning. For your air conditioning and sheet metal needs, call Lock Air Conditioning today, 760-353-4501. Hi, I'm Dr. Satterfield with Plumas County Public Health. Prescription meds such as OxyContin and Norco are great for treating short-term pain, but they are powerful drugs, and taking them can be risky because they're habit-forming. It's not a question of being weak. Anyone can become dependent. If you're taking pain meds and think you're headed down the wrong path, it's never too late to get help. Your pain is real, but so are the risks. For more information, go to therisksareal.cdph.ca.gov. Be a flu fighter with a free flu shot from Walgreens. It's no cost to you with most insurance. It's quick, easy, with no appointment needed. Plus, it lowers your chances of spreading the flu to the people you care about most. Get your flu shot at Walgreens and get $5 off an eligible purchase of $20 now through November 30th. This is your shot to protect you and the ones you love. Be a flu fighter. Walgreens. Trusted since 1901. Coupon offer not valid in Arkansas, New Jersey, or New York. See coupon for terms and restrictions. Vaccines subject to availability and some restrictions may apply. And your uh, local news coming up shortly. Uh, right now, i got your border weight update brought to you by CNS Interiors. Now open at 425 West Main Street in El Centro. Downtown Port of Entry, six lanes open, 45 to 50 minute wait. No wait in the Century Lane, no wait in the pedestrian lanes. Eastport, the Gateway Port, two regular lanes open, 10 to 15 minute wait. 15 to 20 minute wait in the two ready lanes. No wait in the East Century Lane, 30 to 35 minute wait at the Andrade Port. This border weight update brought to you by CNS Interiors, 425 West Main Street in El Cincho. Beautiful furniture and decor at affordable prices. CNS Interiors will help you design your dream room. Plus, furniture bought at CNS Interiors comes with one free professional upholstery cleaning after six months. Provided by Clean and Shine Services. CNS Interiors open Monday through Friday, 9 to 7. Weekends by appointment at 425 West Main Street in El Centro. Now it's time for page one of the local news, a service of quick claim tire and auto centers with two locations in the valley, in Brawley at Highway 86 and Julia Drive and in El Centro on Imperial Avenue right next to uh, food, uh, right next to food for less. Uh, got some road work uh, go going on. A uh, road closed Wednesday's rains undercut a county roadway. Late Friday afternoon, the California Highway Patrol reported that Gentry Road had a 10-foot wide washout under the roadway. Washout apparently caused by the Wednesday storms that swept through the Imperial Valley. Imperial County Road Department closed Gentry Road from Walker to Edens Road until the damage can be repaired. Imperial County Road Department says Ogilby Road will be closed today uh, throughout the day. It was, it was closed on the 26th, and today should be the last day. They should have everything all set. Those are the plans anyway. It should open up tomorrow morning. Uh, State Route uh, 111, Highway 111 is closed about five miles north of Nyland for remediation of the uh, moving mud pot. Uh, closure in effect uh, through uh, October 11th, traffic being detoured to Highway 86 on the west side of the Assault and Sea. And coming up next week, Dogwood Road from Commercial Avenue to Villa Avenue will be closed to traffic uh, between 10 a.m. and 5 a.m. beginning on Tuesday, October 1st. The uh, planned closure for traffic both north and southbound will be in effect uh, through Friday, October 18th due to the Imperial Irrigation District completing work in that area.
It's Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers for your service needs. Whether it's a lube job, oil and filter change, brake job, battery or wheel balance and alignment, Quick Lane can handle it. And Quick Lane services all makes and all models. Oh, and by the way, you never need an appointment. Tires, all the best brands at the best price, guaranteed. See your Quick Lane service advisor for details. Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers in the Brawley Auto Plaza, Highway 86 and Julia Drive, and on Imperial Avenue in El Centro, right next to Food for Less. And a free health and safety fair. It's being hosted by the El Centro Regional Medical Center. ACRMC and other organizations from throughout the Imperial Valley will be present to promote health and safety services available to the entire community. The uh, fair will take place from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the ECRMC Community Education Center at the Imperial Valley, uh, in, at the Imperial Valley Mall today. Uh, the Da Vinci robot will be on display featuring hands-on demonstrations. There'll be home safety tips, car seat safety education, diabetic-friendly cooking demonstrations, a CPR de demonstrations, and class information. And coming up, the fourth annual breast cancer awareness event. It's being held next week. Radiology Department at Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District will be holding the event from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Thursday, next Thursday, October 3rd, in the auditorium at Pioneers Memorial Hospital. The event is open to the public and will include presentations, music, meet and greet with the staff, survival testimonials, and more in recognition of National Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Those uh, yeah, uh, the uh, years uh, this year's uh, keynote address will be given by Dr. Osaji Bello. Uh, medical director of the uh, Cancer Institute uh, at Pioneers. The goal of the event is to empower and educate local women on their health care options and stress the importance of early detection when it comes to breast cancers. Attendees at the event will also be able to uh, schedule a mammogram appointment at PMH. Page one of the local news has been a service of Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers in El Centro on Imperial Avenue next to Food for Less and in Brawley on Highway 86 and Julia Drive. Quick Lane services all makes and models and you will never need an appointment. We said goodbye to summer and hello to savings at El Centro Motors. No more triple digit days, nothing but cool nights and even cooler savings at El Centro Motors. Right now, you'll find incredible deals on the best pickup truck around the world. The Ford F-150, the 2019 Edge Explorer or Expedition, even the all-new Ford Ranger. Incredible deals, incredible financing, and even trade-in assist cash at El Centro Motors. Say goodbye to summer, hello savings. El Centro Motors has the right used car, truck, or SUV for you. Our huge Labor Day sales event left us overstocked with hundreds of quality trade-ins. And that means quality used vehicles and savings for you. We have our best used truck selection ever. El Centro Motors used cars at prices you'll love. And, of course, they've got easy finance. El Centro Motors, Ford, Lincoln, and the best selection of used cars ever. And is page two of the local news brought to you by David H. West Insurance Services. See David or Jose for your life and health insurance needs or retirement planning. Body found in the Ash Canal. It was discovered Wednesday night near Barbara Worth and McCabe Roads. County Coroner's Office has identified the body as that of 31-year-old Martin Armando Lomeli of Hauteville. Uh, officials say there were no signs of foul play found on the body. Autopsy will be performed in an attempt to determine the cause of death. Coroner's Office said they will also try to determine how long the body had been in the canal. It was initially discovered by an employee of the Imperial Irrigation District. 19-year-old arrested at the East Port of Entry. The arrest was made last week. Oh, no, earlier this week, the man entered the uh, port driving a Jeep Liberty. The uh, vehicle and a driver were referred to the secondary inspection area. X-ray inspection of the vehicle resulted in the discovery of, of anomalies in the vehicle's gas tank. Customs and uh, Border Protection officers removed over 39 pounds of methamphetamine from the gas tank. 19-year-old driver was arrested and turned over to Homeland Security Investigations agents. Man was processed and booked into Imperial County Jail. Got your weather coming up.
As with most things in life, the key to achieving your long-term objectives is planning. David H. West Insurance has been helping many residents in Imperial Valley for many years with their insurance needs, from life to Medicare and financial planning, too. David, Jose, and staff are ready to help you with your insurance needs. Call David H. West Insurance today for an appointment at 760-352-3411. That's 352-3411. Or stop by 8 and commercial in El Centro. The high temperature yesterday, 90 degrees. The overnight low this morning, 68. National Weather Service says drying conditions are expected over the next few days. Temperatures will remain below seasonal normals through the middle of next week with slight chances for rain returning late in the week. Weather forecast calling for sunny skies today. Highs right near 92. Breezy today. West wind 5 to 10 miles per hour, increasing to 15 to 20 miles per hour in the afternoon. Winds could gust as high as 30 miles per hour. Tonight, clear skies. Overnight lows around 65. Windy throughout the night. West and northwest wind 15 to 25 miles per hour, gusting as high as 35 miles per hour. Sunny on Sunday. Highs right near 86. Breezy throughout the day, northwest wind 5 to 15 miles per hour, gusting as high as 20 miles per hour. Sunday night, clear skies, overnight lows around 59. Breezy throughout the night, west northwest wind 10 to 15 miles per hour, gusting as high as 25 miles per hour. Monday, sunny skies, highs right near 87, west and northwest winds at around 5 miles per hour. And right now we're looking at 69 degrees, 63 percent, the relative humidity. Air Pollution Control District says air quality is moderate in Mexicali. Air quality is good for the rest of the region. Page 2 of the local news and the weather brought to you by David H. West Insurance Services. See David or Jose for health insurance plans and Medicare supplement coverage. David H. West Insurance Services. Siri, restaurants nearby. Here are some options. I want a sunny but the fries. And I want an imperial thick burger. But I want a salad. Okay, I just want a juicy burger and an ice cold beer. And I don't want to miss the game. Everyone quiet, please. I have the place. Burgers and beer. Great food. Ice cold beer and you can watch your favorite game. Burgers and beer is something delicious for everyone. Burgers and beer. The, the best, best burgers, burgers in town. town. You're welcome. It's sports time, brought to you by Imperial Hardware Company in, Imperi in, uh, <laughs> in Brawley, El Centro, and Hodeville, Imperial's do-it centers, where you'll find what you need when you need it. And high school football on the scoreboard, it was Granite Hills over Southwest, 41-7. to You can hear that one on, on YouTube if you, if you want to go there. Uh, Hauteville, the defeated Calexico, 40 to nothing. Brawley over Copa, 57 to nothing. Calipat got by O'Farrell Charter, 28-8. to It was uh, 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 Santana. They did, uh, shut out Vincent Memorial, 42 to nothing. And on uh, Thursday, Palo Verde defeated Hamilton, 56-6. to Central Spartans and the Imperial Tigers had to buy. They did not play. And the uh, NFL, the NFL action of this uh, weekend, Sunday uh, football, the morning game, Raiders at the Colts. You'll hear that game on uh, FM 107.5, the Raiders station for the Imperial Valley. Uh, Sunday afternoon, the late Sunday game, uh, Cowboys at the Saints on KXO AM 1230. Also on KXO AM 1230, Monday night football, Bengals at the Steelers. Chargers play on Sunday, and Melvin Gordon may possibly even play. Chargers taking on the Dolphins. It had been said that Gordon, uh, who reported back to the Chargers on Thursday, uh, would probably sit out the game until, uh, uh, well, until he got back up to speed. Then it, they, they found out that Justin Jackson had been ruled out because of a calf strain a Friday. Uh, so uh, it, it has been announced that uh, Gordon may find... Uh, some action uh, during the game on Sunday. Antonio Brown, uh, the uh, wide receiver, the beleaguered wide receiver, working on a potential grievance to recoup a lost earnings with the Oakland Raiders. According to sources, uh, Brown lost out on a $30 million guaranteed money when the Raiders cut him September 7th. The uh, National Football League Players Association is examining various scenarios uh, to try to return some money to the player. We'll have baseball scores in just a minute. As the weather begins to cool down, it's time to get back outside and enjoy the season with family and friends, which means it's also time to get some of those projects done. You know, the ones you've been putting off all summer long? When you DIY, let Imperial Hardware Company lend a hand. 
Visit one of our Do-It Centers today for all your landscaping and irrigation supplies, gardening tools, outdoor decor, paints and stains, grilling gear, Yeti coolers, rental equipment, and much more. You see, we know exactly what Valley residents are looking for. Because we're locally owned and family operated, serving this community for over a century. Check us out online at imperialhardwarecompany.com. Our Do-It Centers provide the sweet spot between convenience and selection, combining the value and variety of a warehouse store with the ease of visiting a neighborhood market. And remember, we're open seven days a week. Visit us in Brawley, El Centro, or Holtville to find what you need when you need it. Get it done with a little help from Imperial Hardware Company. And in uh, Major League Baseball, it was the uh, Nationals over the Indians 8-2 to two yesterday. Pirates beat the Reds 6-5. to five. Marlins and the Phillies went 15 innings. Phillies won that one 5-4. to four. Rays over the Blue Jays 6-2. to two. Mets beat the Braves 4-2. to two. Orioles over the Red Sox 4-1. to one. Cubs uh, defeated the Cardinals 8-2. to two. Yankees over the Rangers 14-7. to seven. Rockies got by the Brewers 11-7. to seven. Twins beat the Royals 6-2. to two. Diamondbacks, uh, they beat up on the Padres 6-3. to three. Astros defeated the Angels, shut them out 4 to nothing. It was the Mariners over the Athletics 4-3. to three. Dodgers keep winning. Uh, they beat the Giants this time 9-2. to two. Tigers and the White Sox had a doubleheader schedule. That doubleheader was postponed, both of them. Both games, so now there'll be a quadruple header later on. Anyway, that's that, that's what happened in baseball. In a NASCAR, William Byron and Alex Bowman, they're sitting on the pole, and, well, that's the front row. Uh, they make it an all-Hendrick front row at Charlotte. Uh, Charlotte is the uh, first elimination race for the NASCAR playoffs. Ricky Stenhouse, he doesn't care about the race. He's, he lost his job. Ricky Stenhouse uh, Jr., emotional uh, on the uh, tough timing of firing him from the Roush Racing Team. Uh, he will be replaced next year by Chris Bo- Busher. Tony Romo missed the cut uh, at the uh, Safeway Open, uh, so he'll be able to do his football anal- anal- analyst job. Bryson DeChambeau is two shots up. He's at the top of the leaderboard. Blake Windard stumbled, uh, but uh, part of the Asia, he still part of the Asia Pacific amateur tie. Uh, he's, he's on top of the uh, leaderboard there with, with somebody else. Uh, Rod Pampling, uh, he eagled the 18th for a share of the lead at Pebble, uh, at Pebble Beach, Joey Sindelar, uh, he joined Pampling atop the leaderboard there. That's it. That's a look at sports. Sports time brought to you this morning by Imperial Hardware Company, Do It Centers in El Centro, Hauteville, and Brawley. Get it done with a little help from Imperial Hardware Company. The Ronald McDonald House of San Diego provides a home away from home for families with children being treated for serious, often life-threatening conditions at San Diego hospitals. More than 25% of families who stay at the Ronald McDonald House of San Diego live in Imperial Valley. On Thursday, October 17th, people will have an opportunity to support all Imperial Valley families who have stayed at the Ronald McDonald House of San Diego with cash donations during Imperial Valley's 9th and Red Shoe Day. Simply visit our volunteers with red shoes from 7 to 10 a.m. at all major intersections in Imperial Valley. All McDonald restaurants, banks, credit unions, and elementary school car line. For more information on Red Shoe Day and to give your support, log on to KXORadio.com. A message made possible by KXO AM 1230, here to make a difference in the valley. And in this this morning's business report, U.S. stocks slid lower Friday, closing out a second week of losses as investors weighed a report that the uh, Trump administration is considering potential curbs on U.S. portfolio investments into China. The uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average lost 70.87 uh, points or 0.26 percent to a 26,820.25, while the S&P 500 index lost 15.83 points or 0.53 percent to trade at 2961.79. Nasdaq Composite Index gave up 91.03 points or a 1.13 percent at 7939.63. 
and take a look at your weather in just a minute. KXO AM 1230 can help you publicize your nonprofit group's upcoming events, and we're happy to do it at no charge. To take advantage of our offer, we ask that you let us know about the event at least two weeks ahead of time. Write down the important information. You know who, what, where, when, and so on. Include a name and phone number of a contact person and mail or deliver the information to KXO 420 Main Street, El Centro, California, 92243. Our email address is kxoamfm at kxoradio.com. The information you supply may be used as community news, public service announcements on the KXO info line, or on our website. If you're paying for promotion with another advertising medium, we do offer special nonprofit group rates to promote your event. KXO AM 1230 wants to work with you and your community group to make our Imperial Valley a better place. Tell us what's going on and we'll tell everyone else. KXO AM 1230, here to make a difference in the valley. And sunny skies expected throughout the weekend into Monday. High temperatures today, 92 degrees, 86 on Sunday, 87 degrees expected on Monday. Breezy uh, throughout the weekend. Uh, winds will die down somewhat on Monday. Uh, overnight lows in the upper 50s to mid-60s. And that's it. That's a look, a look at the weather. It's 8 o'clock at KXOL Central, California. CBS News on the Hour, presented by Capital One Bank. I'm Wendy Gillette. Most congressional lawmakers are in their home districts today, the beginning of a two-week recess. But much of their focus remains on the House impeachment inquiry into President Trump. The recess won't stop the investigations. House hearings could start as early as next week. I'm Tom Forty. As congressional Democrats issue their first impeachment inquiry subpoenas, the Trump re-election campaign fights back with political advertising. They lost the election. Now they want to steal this one. Don't let them. I'm Donald Trump, and I approve this message. We heard from Joe Biden, too. He'd like very much for us to, me to focus on uh, his mistakes, what he's done, and his focus of battle between he and I. This is not about me. This is about the American people. That at a campaign event in Las Vegas. Tom Fody, CBS News, Washington. The administration's envoy to Ukraine, Kurt Volker, resigned yesterday. Testimony has resumed today in the case of a Dallas police officer accused of killing a man she thought was in her apartment. Amber Geiger shot and killed 26-year-old Botham Jean, who was in his own home. Defense witness Craig Miller, a former Dallas police detective. And, and it, it's my opinion that in this case, that Miss Geiger, thinking she was in her own apartment, uh, fire shot at a person that she felt was a threat to her, and that was reasonable. Geiger took the stand yesterday. I feel like a piece of crap. I hate it. I hate it every time. I hate that I have to live with this every single time. A federal judge is blocking the Trump administration's rules for the detention of immigrant children. Attorneys for the children said the rules would keep them locked up indefinitely. CBS's Steve Futterman. The Flores settlement, which prevents the federal government from holding immigrant children for more than 20 days, has been criticized by the president. Last month, the administration issued new regulations to end the 20-day limit. But a federal judge here in L.A. says that is a violation of the Flores settlement. She has issued a tentative ruling that will prevent the new regulations from going into effect. It may be September, but it's already snow season in the northwest. A major storm is hitting parts of the region. National Weather Service meteorologist Bob Oravec. The heavy snow is expected across northwestern Montana over the next few days, but there's also going to be some accumulating snows getting into central and northern Idaho, far northwestern Wyoming, and through the Cascades of Washington, Oregon. The storm could bring record snow and temperatures dropping into the teens. It could last for three days. Between one and four feet of snow could fall in some areas. This is CBS News. Capital One is reimagining banking, offering accounts with no fees or minimums that can be opened in five minutes. Capital One, what's in your wallet? Capital One N.A., member FDIC. Hi, I'm Bruce Fabrizio, inventor of Simple Green. Like you, I'm a big sports enthusiast, and I want my gear to shine like new. That's why it's clean with Simple Green, the concentrated cleaner that's perfect for making your auto, RV, cycling, boating, and other sporting equipment look like new again. Try it today. If you're not 100% satisfied, I'll give you your money back. Visit us at simplegreen.com. Simple Green, Simple Green. 
This Do It Right Savings Tip is brought to you by The Home Depot. Whether you're just looking for a new refrigerator or planning a full kitchen upgrade, The Home Depot has the guaranteed lowest prices on appliances from top brands like Samsung, LG, and GE. Keep your home running smoothly and check out the latest deals on washers and dryers. The Home Depot has the latest models from the best brands. Visit homedepot.com slash appliances for details. The Home Depot. More saving, more doing. Too much time at the gym, maybe too much. CBS's Jim Shinovy. Don't be stupid. Don't exercise so much. That's the bottom line to a French study that found excessive exercise can tire out your brain to the point where you have trouble making decisions. Researchers studied male endurance athletes. Some were told to continue their normal training, others to increase their training level by 40%. Functional MRIs show the athletes who boosted their training had a slow response in the lateral prefrontal cortex. That resulted in a loss of cognitive control, the ability to process information and control behavior. Jim Shenaby, CBS News. When you're enjoying your beach vacation, the last thing you want to worry about is the bill and annoying daily resort fees you didn't expect. Congress is considering doing something about it. Legislation to ban what's referred to as unfair and deceptive resort fees. Wendy Gillette, CBS News. So there's this guy named Jordan, and he's a healthy guy. He's a dad of six, and he works as a guide in Alaska. But then he goes to the doctor, and he's diagnosed with cancer, stage four. And here's the thing. He had switched from medical insurance to MediShare, which is a Christian health care sharing ministry. So the question for Jordan and his wife Jenny was, is this really going to work? Our medical bills exceeded $160,000. MediShare members shared all our bills. And it was about more than just the money, too. This is a real community. MediShare is, is a family, a group of people that stick with you through the hardest times of your life. I just don't know how I could have done it without MediShare. It's so worth looking into. There's a reason this is growing so fast. If you want to find out more, here's a number for you. 866-88-BIBLE. That's 866-88-BIBLE. 866-88-BIBLE. And now, more of the best oldies on the radio with George Gale. We're just trying to entertain people, and morality's just going to get in the way. AM 1230. <laughs> That's hilarious. KXO. 1230.